educating our kids about sex and porn is a delicate and very real problem that requires the finesse of a professional. So against my better judgement, I now hand over to the weekly's problem solver, Kitty Flanagan. <laughs> Problem solver. Kitty, can I trust you with this? Jack, relax. In the words of the late, great Dr Martin Luther King, if you've got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. <laughs> 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 that might have been vanilla ice. It doesn't matter. What matters is I care about the kids. Now, do you remember this book? Mm. Yeah. It's where I got my sex education from back in the 80s and why... I spent most of the 90s believing that boys got stiffies whenever they went on diving boards. <laughs> yeah, I thought it must be something to do with the chlorine or the altitude, something. <laughs> the point is, that one image had a lasting effect on me. Now consider the sorts of images kids have access to today, thanks to the internet, and think about what kind of effect that must be having on them. It's got to be messing with their melons, man. <laughs> It's a serious issue, which is why I've decided to consult a sex education expert. This is a woman who can say words like insert the penis into the vagina with a completely straight face, no giggling. Now that's impressive. <laughs> I sat down with Marie Crabb and did my best to be a grown up. Marie, would it be fair to say that a lot of children are getting their sex education from the internet? Yeah, I think pornography is the most prominent form of sexuality education for young people today, unfortunately. Unfortunately is right, because these days pornography no longer means the occasional cheeky centrefold with staples right in the rude bits. Kids can now access hardcore pornography, often by accident, because let's face it, this stuff doesn't come with a warning. There's no sensible voiceover at the start saying, the following presentation contains highly unrealistic sex scenes. Viewers are advised <laughs> not to try this at home. And we know for a fact that kids are getting a skewed idea of sex from porn. A recent study revealed that porn is normalising sex acts that most women in the real world don't enjoy. Which brings us to this rather uncomfortable subject. I asked Marie about... I asked her about... I can't say it, I wrote it on the whiteboard. <laughs> it is really common in porn and one might think if you learn about sex from porn that basically all women love anal sex and uh, you just you don't have to do any preparation, you don't have to check yeah. in with them about whether that's what they'd like to do. Um, it's just what everybody's up for. Yeah, somewhere along the line, the <laughs> vagina went out of fashion and now many young people seem to believe that taking it up the jacksy is standard practice. <laughs> but what could I do to help? I thought about maybe an advertising campaign, something to promote the vagina, make it popular, the go-to place for sex. It'd have to be something classy, like a Melbourne tourism ad. Pan pipes playing, a giant ball of string, a top hat, a dog barks, a woman giggles, footsteps, fireworks, voiceover, lose yourself in the vagina. <laughs> but then I realised we can't stop kids from seeing porn, so we need to make porn more realistic and educational. That's why I wrote up a script and got Marie to workshop it with me. And action. Hello, sexy lady. Wow, I like your pubic hair. Thanks. <laughs> it's vintage. Hey, do you want to try anal sex? Sure, why not? Apparently everyone's doing it. OK, then. And then we cut to we're doing it, and then I say... <laughs> ow! 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 ow. No, no, really don't like it. Don't want it. Stop. Wow, I'm really sorry. Do you know what? I'm not sure I would like it either. Yeah, it's pretty painful. Hey, do you want to go get coffee and cake? Sure. <laughs> Next time, why don't we try it old school? In the vagina. Cool <laughs> idea. <laughs> That's the money shot right there. Well, I've done all I can and you are welcome. Now it's up to you. You need to talk to your kids and make sure that when it comes to sex, they understand you need to be safe, be respectful and above all recognise that pornography is not reality. Because in reality, one in the bum ain't everyone's idea of fun. <laughs> It was mature, it was informative, money shot. Woo! Yeah!